Well, good morning, Homestead family. Today's video is going to be on uh, growing some fall garlic this year from the lessons that we learned from last year. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, friends. If y'all remember back last year, we did an uh, experimental video on uh, growing some several different varieties of uh, garlic here in Florida that were, uh, uh, you know, heat tolerant. And uh, Keen Garlic donated some really nice varieties, and we went through that whole process last year, and uh, we determined, you know, which were good and which weren't so good for us down here. And uh, this year, we said we were going to try it again we had dialed in on two that we really particularly like and we're going to uh, grow those this year in the fall of 2022 so last year we um we did a little study an experiment and if y'all remember that we uh, decided that we were going to use the red talk um, which is a soft neck garlic and we were going to plant that in the fall of 2022 and we also favored the uh, Chesnick Red, and we we're going to plant that in the fall of 22. And uh, if y'all haven't seen that video on that experiment that we did last year, check out our channel. We've got a, a video on there that you can go back and take a look at, and it might remind you of what all we went through to get to this point that we're at today. <laughs> so um, we uh, got the, the, the uh, garlic. We ordered it in. It came in from King Garlic. It's our two... Um, our two varieties. This is the Red Talk as well as the Chesnick Red. And when it came in, it came in with this really nice uh, instructions for planting and storing garlic. So if you uh, order some garlic from Keen Garlic, you will get one of these in your uh, delivery package. Take a look at it. It's got really good information in there to help you along. So this year, we got our uh, garlic ready. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. We're going to refrigerate our garlic for at least two months before we try to plant it out in an earth bed. We're going to dedicate an, a raised bed just for garlic and uh, space it out correctly and go through the whole thing again uh, using these two varieties. And uh, the big difference that I think is gonna make in our success this year is the vernalization or the cold stratification. We, uh, we have it in the refrigerator for two months and then we'll pull it out, we'll put it in the ground in early December and that should give us plenty of cool days for it to uh, be in the ground before the spring gets here and it starts to emerge and break ground. And we'll watch it on out until uh, until we harvest it this year and we'll take a look at the results. And I am very confident that the results this year will be really what we've been looking for here in Florida with uh, the heat that we have, especially in the fall. So the, um, the putting it in the refrigerator is definitely the way to go. So let's go ahead and get these in the refrigerator and uh, get them chilled down for a couple of months and um, we'll uh, be off on running with our first step of getting some nice garlic this year. There we go. Garlic is set in the refrigerator for two months. We'll be back soon. Well, welcome back, Homestead family. We've had our garlic over in the refrigerator in the, uh, you know, in the uh, pantry for uh, nine weeks today. Today's December 1st, and that was the day that we planned to get our garlic started this year. And now, uh, based on the lessons we learned last year, we needed that cold chill time uh, prior to planting them. So that's what we did this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, today's activity is we want to uh, prep this bed. I want to freshen it up with some black cow cow manure, cultivate that in and get it all grated in. And then tomorrow we'll come out and uh, bring out the garlic and we'll get it ready to, to plant. We'll get it all installed tomorrow and we'll be off and running. So 
let's go ahead and get this show on the road because we got a lot to do.
Well, we got the bed prep done. Got it all freshened up with cow manure and uh, we'll be back in the morning and we'll separate all our cloves and get them soaking and we'll put in the uh, elephant garlic. My plan is to put one row of elephant garlic here and then uh, a row of the soft neck and then at the end another row of the hard neck. And I think this year we're gonna see a huge improvement. So we'll be back in the morning, get the stuff in the ground. See you then. Happy New Day, friends. We had a long day yesterday. We was pretty tired, so we went to bed early last night and got a good night's sleep, and we feel very refreshed and happy today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, today's a big day because we're gonna be planting our garlic out in the ground after we got it prepped yesterday. So today we're gonna actually put it in the ground. And these are the two garlics that we uh, decided we were gonna grow this year based on the lessons learned last year in that video that we did on our Florida garlic experiment. And if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. It's a um, very comprehensive tutorial on how to grow garlic and here in Florida. And um, we learned a couple of good lessons in that video that we're gonna be able to apply to our garlic this year. So today we're gonna be doing everything with our garlic that's demonstrated in that first video and today we're going to be putting it in the ground and we're going to get it growing and uh, we're going to look for a vast great improvement in our garlic this year so very successful <laughs> we're going to be successful yep very we didn't, successful we didn't very give big up bubs. <laughs> very big bulbs yeah we didn't give up mm -mm. and we're looking for the big bulbs mm -hmm. okay so uh you about ready to get started mm -hmm. let's roll <laughs>
Good job. There it is. Mm -hmm. We got in our three rows of garlic uh, this morning. The first row over here uh, is an elephant garlic we put in. The second one is the Chesnick Red Hardneck. And the last one here is a Red Tonk Softneck. So these are the varieties we're growing this year. We'll be back in the days ahead and watch these as they progress until we get out to the harvest because I'm really looking forward to much improved bulbs this year, aren't you? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we'll be seeing you soon. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome back, friends. It's been 27 days since we started our garlic bed out here. And as you can see, they have uh, broke the surface and they've started producing some leaves. Um, this row right here is the elephant garlic, and this is the hard neck, and the uh, third one there is the soft neck. They have all emerged and started to do well. And uh, I am so glad that we adjusted our planting schedule on these things and we acclimated them in the uh, the refrigerator for two months so they could vernalize and and the big thing that hit us this this week is Christmas well, and Christmas this year in 2022 is one for the history books baby we went down in the low 20s three nights in a row hard long freezes and uh, as you can see this uh, standard garlic is basically the only thing in my garden that was saved. Um, I don't think that my carrots or my onions or any of my brassicas are gonna make it. It's pretty much a total loss over there for this fall, which is <laughs> the way it goes sometimes in gardening is just you can't control some things. You just can't give up. But anyway, the garlic is in the plus column. I guess another thing you could say that's in the plus column is having all them hard freezes really wiped out the mosquitoes down here because they were eating us up out here. But uh, they are wiped out completely right now. And uh, any other little bug that gets up in the, the garden that's been bothering our stuff in the summertime, maybe next summer it'll be a little bit less insect activity. So when you get these real hard freezes like this in the winter time, a lot of times it's beneficial for your uh, plants the next spring. So let's, let's try to keep a positive note about that. But anyway, the, uh, the garlic's doing well. I, I was really happy that it made it through the freezes. And I think that's in part to uh, adjusting my uh, planting schedule to the correct time down here. So anyway, we'll be back in the spring. I'm just let this continue to grow. I just wanted to show you what it looked like coming through a hard, three hard freezes. And it's only about three weeks old. So we're looking good. So we'll be back in, uh, in the days ahead. And we'll take another look at the progress of this keep our eye on it because we really want to get some big garlic bulbs this year. So we'll see you soon. Well, welcome back friends. It's been 18 weeks since we planted these back on December the 1st and uh, here we are heading into April and spring has sprung. And uh, these, these uh, uh, garlics have really done well, especially over the winter as compared to last year. And um, you know, this, this past winter we had a four day severe Arctic blast back in Jan and, uh, Christmas of 2022. And uh, we had four days of really 20 degree weather. I mean, low twenties. And uh, these things, I'm so glad that I had waited and, um, and put them in a the, uh, refrigerator and let them vernalize over uh, a couple of months before I planted them because by the time the freeze hit, they were, they were just very small and it hasn't really bothered them whatsoever. So here we are rolling into the warmer temperatures now. The, the spring has arrived and the temperatures are here. And as you can see, our standard garlic has just really just exploded. This first uh, row over here is the elephant garlic, if you'll remember. And the second row is the hard neck. And the third row is the soft neck. And it's all, you know, up, you know, leg high to me. Uh, some of the tops of the uh, plants are starting to yellow a little bit. And I'm uh, seeing some of the uh, scapes come off the top of the elephant garlic, you know, like this one right here. And whenever I see that, I just break those off. 
I get those off because I want I don't want the plant to focus on that because it's trying to produce seed when it's doing that so I get that out of there so it can continue to grow and make that bulb up so um, we'll be back I'd say we're probably maybe a little bit past the halfway point right now I'm looking at maybe late June early July that we should be able to come out here and harvest these and we should have some you know respectable bulbs uh, growing garlic in Florida it's been a tough journey so <laughs> we we had to learn a lot of lessons along the way with this uh, sandy soil and these high temperatures down here so we'll be back in uh, the days ahead when this gets a little bit closer to harvest time and we'll harvest it together and we'll take a look at how this garlic turned out this year we'll see you soon Well, welcome back, friends. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and get this garlic up. It's, I probably should have got this up <laughs> two or three weeks ago, but um, things happen, you know. Uh, I guess about three weeks ago, we started getting some rain, and I mean, it was torrential rains mm -hmm. for eight, nine days straight, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, way, way too much water. And then Nancy got sick with a, a little stomach virus, and and that took her down for about four or five days. Mm -hmm. And then I turned around and got it next. And I mean, I'm just now getting back up vertical. <laughs> but Barely. <laughs> yeah, old people, when we get sick, we don't bounce back like we used to. But mm -hmm. we're back out. And so we came out and I looked at the garlic and I said, I, I got some bad news. I think we may have pretty much lost most of the garlic due to my not getting it out on time it's been about 24 weeks mm -hmm. you know up in uh, virginia 24 26 weeks would have been fine in zone 8a but here we are down here in zone 9 we're still trying to adjust to the different temperature and soil conditions and weather conditions of zone 9a in florida and uh, i think <laughs> we should have got it out a little bit earlier but i think all in all we'll still get some. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sorry we didn't get it like I wanted. But I understand, honey. It's uh, part of being a homesteader. <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> and got, life happens. You have to accept some things just don't work out as good as you want, but don't give up, right? Do the best we can. <laughs> <laughs> just keep on trying. But anyway, re remember uh, back last year, we uh, last fall, we, we put it all in the refrigerator for a couple of months and then we put it in the ground. And it did a lot better this year. I think we got the procedure down. We just need to get the harvest time better. But uh, we'll go ahead and pull it up today and we'll take a look at what we got and uh, we'll, we'll go from there.
Well, we got the job done. We sure did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't exactly our best harvest that we've ever had, but we're steadily improving. I think this year was my fault if I'd have just got these things out earlier. I saw that rain coming and I was thinking to myself, uh, it's just an afternoon shower. It'll only last about 30 minutes and the sun will be right back out and they'll be fine. And the first, second, third, fourth day, it did happen that way. And then about the fifth day, I was like, you know what? I think I, re <laughs> I think I really made a problem for myself because it was not stopping. And um, about the t by the time it finally did stop, we got sick. So yeah. I think next year when we do this, I'm just going to plan on 22 weeks or so, 20 to 22 weeks. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a few and see how they look and mm -hmm. let's get them out of the ground because I need to get adjusted to this uh, Florida rainy season that comes right about the time these are getting toward the very end and then they're getting just a little too much water. But we did uh, do the stratification and you know the vernalization of the uh, the, the uh, uh, garlic uh, bulbs this year in the refrigerator and it did result in a lot better garlic. Uh, so um, if you'll take a look at them up close, you can see the soft neck here, the red talk, it, it did pretty good, much much better than it did last year. And um, I'm, I'm not really going to complain about that garlic right there. That's fantastic. Yeah, and the hard neck, it, it came out all right. I mean, I think it could have been a lot bigger, and I think it will if I can just get my, um, <laughs> my scheduling corrected. Mm -hmm. And the elephant garlic, it came out pretty much as expected. It did pretty good. Uh, elephant mm -hmm. garlic does real well down here in Florida. But um, we're really going out, we really like to get us a real good variety of the garlic because it just tastes so much better. <laughs> I know you love it, yeah. but to me, they're all good. It's eatable. You did a great job. I know you're constantly improving. You yeah. always, that's why I call you God's master gardener. <laughs> to me, this is a great harvest. Well, to me, it needs improvement. So of course, <laughs> we'll, always. You know, we'll keep working on it. We got the rest of the big ones over mm -hmm. here in the uh, rack. We're letting them dry out. Mm -hmm. I'll come out next week, and uh, mm -hmm. while you're busy doing other things, I'll come out here and I'll mm -hmm. I'll trim them all down for you. And Nancy's got three baskets of the little scraps over there. You know, the ones that weren't just right. So she's taking them, and she's you gonna what are you gonna do with them to hydrate them for uh, mm -hmm. garlic? They make the best garlic powder. I mean, and in a garden, regular home garden, you're not gonna get all perfect sizes like growers do because they have it all worked out. But in a home garden, you're gonna have different sizes. So to be able to take that and dehydrate it and use it, and we love it. Well, I used up. I had a couple big bottles last year and we used it all up. It was so good. She made, I don't know how many jars of, uh, she, she took the tops and made green garlic powder and then she took the bottoms and made white garlic powder. Mm -hmm. She made onion powder, green onion. It was, we've been using it all year. I mean, it's a good frugal way to take advantage of everything in your garden so you're not if you're coming away feeling like you wasted anything because Nancy's real good at that. I'm I'm not the best at that. <laughs> but it, you know, it, we loved it. It was it, great. If it's not just right, I tend to discard mm -hmm. it and she runs over and picks it up off the ground. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? And she's out there picking all the stuff up off the ground. I threw away. The Don't next waste thing you know, anything. <laughs> next thing you know, I'm eating it in there. This is that garlic powder that I picked up all off the ground that you were throwing away. Uh, so she was right. I was wrong. So anyway, sometimes I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep trying. That's all we can do. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we thank you for watching. We hope our video brought a little smile to your face, a little joy to your heart, a little peace to your day. So until me and Nancy see you next time here on the Homestead, always remember, by, by his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.